Hey guys, what is up? It is Nice Draven and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a gothic spiderweb flower vase. So I got this flower vase from Goodwill, um, which is a basic glass clear vase. And I'll be drawing on some spider webs on it using a marker. You can use a permanent marker, you can use whatever marker you have. So basically I'm creating a line down the middle of the vase. And next, I'm drawing a little circle in the center of that base just to kind of mark out the center of the spider web. And around that, I'll be drawing a smaller circle. And then I'll be doing a line across the base just to cut the, the circle in half. I do it several times because it's, it's kind of hard to draw on this base because it curves. Um, next, I'll be drawing the diagonal lines of the spider web. Next, I'm connecting the webs. Um, basically, I'm drawing a curved line from, from line to line and creating the basic spiderweb shape. Also, I forgot to mention that, but I followed a reference picture that I found on Pinterest. I'll put it up here on the screen so that way y'all guys can see. Also, I recommend that you prime the base before you paint it later on, but I don't have like any primer, so I just kind of painted over it, but it turned out fine as you can see. Next is hot glue time. Basically, I'm just tracing over the lines I had created with hot glue. I recommend not doing this while you're hungry and shaky because my otherwise like your lines will come out a little wobbly, but it's fine because later I'll fix I'll fix them later on. But I feel like it's kind of hard to get like really smooth clean lines with hot glue anyways. Next, I'm taking an exacto knife and basically cleaning up the edges of the spider web, just cleaning up any like large parts or like parts that I messed up on. Um, of course, I'm just scoring the glue itself, slowly cutting it. Obviously, you need to be careful while handling sharp objects. Next, I'm painting the vase with some black acrylic paint. Um, I'll be doing one layer and then letting it dry overnight. Um, basically, I'm just kind of doing back and forth, up and down motions with the paintbrush. The first layer doesn't need to be perfect because we're just kind of basically laying down a base. The second coat will look a lot better.
Next, we'll be adding a second coat after letting the base dry overnight. Um, I'll be painting it on, on it in a different direction. I'll be adding the paint on horizontally. And basically all I needed was one last coat, just two coats worked for me. The end result came out amazing. I feel like this is something that Morticia Adams would display in her home. Display her headless roses in. If you guys decorate it like how I did and create like a spooky bouquet, it'll look amazing on, on any surface you place it on and it can be a centerpiece as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Make sure you guys do stick around because I have a bunch of really cool Halloween videos coming up this month. I hope you guys have a safe, wonderful, and spooky day. Bye guys!